Welcome to The Man in the Middle. I am your host, Bill West. Today we're going to be talking about uh, some news I just heard about uh, an hour ago from uh, Echo Base. I can't remember their, their full title, but our, our friends over there. Disney's closing its, uh, you know, the, the ho Starliner Hotel. Uh, we're going to go to Washington, the Washington Post and read the article there. Disney is closing its $5,000 Star Wars Hotel. The Galactic Star Liner Hotel and Experience will close in September. This is by Hannah Sampson, published at May 18th, 2023 at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, what you might be hearing in the background is my dog scratching himself. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Disney's venture into an immersive, a very expensive Star Wars experience is ending. The company said that its Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel, which costs nearly $5,000 per couple for a two-night stay, will take its final voyage on September 28th. Employees were notified of the decision Thursday afternoon. Before that, the website showed availability through December 31st. Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser is one of our most creative projects ever and has been praised by our guests and recognized for setting a new bar of innovation and immersive entertainment, the company said in a statement. This premium boutique experience gave us the opportunity to try new things on a smaller scale of 100 rooms, and as we prepare for its final voyage, we will take what we've learned to create future experiences that can reach more of our guests and fans. The hotel opened March 2022. Like I said, this was Hannah Sampson. All right. Uh, so just over a year and a half. Oh, that's blue. Okay. A <laughs> uh, year and a half after it opened, it's closing. Why? Because, well, $5,000 for a couple is pretty expensive. And, uh, you know, once you, you know, start throwing kids into the mix, it's probably even more expensive than that. Uh, you know, you can buy a decent used car or put down a down payment for a decent used car or a brand new car for $5,000. Plus the, uh, unless you live in Florida, <laughs> you know, the tickets to get there. Uh, that's, that's a, that's a lot of money, you know, and, and. And uh, I, I just, I heard about it and I was like, that would be cool. But, you know, for $5,000, I wasn't going to go. <laughs> Another thing, it, it was put in during, you know, Kylo, you know, the sequel. We all know th that Kylo Ren doesn't stay Kylo Ren. He turns into Ben Solo. So this is sort of not a great... You know, if you really wanted to do it, you should have done it in the period of the Galactic Empire. You know, Vader's still there. He's, you know, he's still Vader. Vader, I mean, Kylo is okay, but Vader is always going to, you know, he might have turned to Anakin, but Vader's always going to be Vader. <laughs> you know, if you have Vader and Stormtroopers uh, shutting down your ship, I think you're going to be more afraid than, uh, you know, being with, you know, being with uh, Kylo. And I just, I don't know how immersive it was. I, I never got to go. Uh, I, I don't know anybody who went. And I think the writing was on the wall earlier this year when they said uh, how they were uh, having problems staffing, the, you know, getting people to come in. And they started, you know, shutting down weekends or during the week and only for certain weekends. It's just, it wasn't... I don't think they thought it out well. I think they were try still on Star Wars's cash cow, and really, uh, the movies might have made a billion dollars, over a billion dollars each, but they weren't that great. And you know, with the dec declining uh, audience numbers for Obi Wan, The Book of Boba Fett, Andor. Uh, the Mandalorian, you know, if your shows aren't doing well, they're not going to come, see, you know, 
And we haven't had a movie in four years, 2019. Star Wars has mainly been on TV. We haven't had a big movie f for it uh, since The Rise of Skywalker. And uh, it wasn't that one wasn't really that great. So it's they they should have done something earlier, <laughs> you know, or maybe. Uh, back in the days, you know, I, I, I think something like this during the uh, interregnum between the uh, the prequel trilogy and the sequel trilogy, or even before then, uh, in the uh, between the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy, where they didn't have hardly anything Star Wars, where there was nothing there if they had bought the rights to it, but like, uh, and done something like uh, Universal did with Mission Galactica or Battlestar Galactica. I, uh, you know, if, if they had made it an immersive thing there, maybe, you know, you know built, a, built a Star Cruiser and had Stormtroopers and, you know, we... We didn't have a lot of technology, but I think the imagination would have carried it through much more than a bunch of crappy movies and television shows and uh, a bad villain that real people really didn't care about or a hero that people didn't really care about. It was uh, unfortunate that these, you know, they, they spent all this money and... Uh, it just didn't knock it out of the park, and now people are losing their jobs. You know, maybe we'll see something come around, and uh, who knows? Maybe this will help spur the uh, the end of Kathleen Kennedy. You know, <laughs> that or someone on the Disney board will. You know, or Iger will tell her, you know, start make, you know, make real Star Wars. Bring back Skywalker. Bring back Solo. You know, if we have to bring back uh, Carrie Fisher via, you know, AI or you know, deep fake, do what you have to. Make an make it cool animated series like uh, uh, the Clone Wars used to be, or the the new Babylon Five. I'm looking forward to that. I hope you are too. Uh, but. Uh, I just wanted to hop on this. Echo Base Network, that was her name. I heard this about an hour ago from Echo Base Network. Uh, my friends over there. Thank you guys. Uh, I really don't know them. I just, I, I try to assume that all Star Wars fans are friends. And I, I want to shout them out for because they were the ones who, oops, big black cat. <laughs> they were the ones who brought it to my attention. I really appreciate them. And, uh, you know, if you guys haven't checked them out, please check them out. I'm Bill West. I am the man in the middle. If you like this video, if you like what you've seen today, please give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really need your help. I'm so close to 300. I could, you know, if you're not subscribed, please think about it. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And every couple of days, I try to about, talk about something cool. Today, we're talking about uh, the closing of, you know, the Star Galactic Starliner. I have a Star Trek video coming up soon and a video on uh, the creator. That looks kick-ass. <laughs> you guys take care. I will talk to you again soon.